Hello, my name is Axel Schiver. I will talk about assertion-driven simulation, a feature of incisive enterprise verifier. We will talk about first an assertion-based environment, which is made up of three components. Constraint for modeling your design environment, checkers, the classic term for assertions, check your environment, check your behavior of your device, and finally, coverage points. Today we will talk mostly about the aspect of constraining your environment. You might have known this from formal analysis, but we are talking simulation today, assertion-driven simulation. This means we turn these assertions into active drivers. Right? So the magic here, you only specify a few assertions, repress a button, and you generate stimulus automatically. It's constrained random stimulus that you can use to visualize the behavior of your device relative with these constraints. Let me show you how this looks in a quick demonstration. We have Incisive Enterprise Verifier up and running, and with this button we can launch the quick ADS simulation. It's very fast, already done. In the first run, we have one constraint that basically colors the input data stream. So data in will be all Fs to make sure we can see what's going into the device. And that's happening. You can see it right here. Let me zoom in a little bit. The data is being colored with Fs, but if you check the output data stream, you can see there's only garbage coming out. That's not very surprising if you also observe the behavior of these control signals. We're performing reads here right in the beginning when the device is still empty, so we're underflowing the device. So therefore, of course, we get garbage out. Let me zoom out again, and now we're going to remedy this behavior. We're going to run a second simulation. This time we are constraining this properly and tell the simulator what's the proper behavior. Again, we ran the simulation, and we have two con additional constraints. One saying, if you're empty, don't read. And the second one is saying, if you're full and nobody's reading, don't write to the device, don't overflow. Now things look very differently. We zoom in again, right? You can see that the output data stream is this time colored with Fs as expected. That's the reaction to this read, right? So everything seems to work properly. So very good, uh, we have a proper environment. If I zoom out here, the other thing you can see that this device is not getting full. Now, that's not a surprise either. We're doing constrained random simulation. And with a 50-50 duty cycle between read and write operations, it's very unlikely that a device like this with any decent depth gets full. So we will do a third simulation. This time we're adding another steering constraint that will stress the device. Right? We want to go to the extreme full condition, to this corner case scenario. Let me show you this constraint. All I'm doing is basically saying, do continuous write operations, right? perform a burst of writes. And that's exactly what's happening here. You can see the waveform, we go going continuous writes, and the read signal is still being randomized because it's not affected here. You also can see we achieved our result. We want to get full, and we are full. Finally, you see, because we reached this corner case scenario being full, the data stream starts to get mangled again. So this indicates there is a bug at this corner case scenario. So that's for the uh, demonstration. Let's go back to the slides. That's it, basically. Assertion-driven simulation it turns your assertions into drivers, allowing you to simulate very quickly without a complex test bench. You can find additional videos on assertion-driven simulation and on many other topics uh, on our support website. Just log in with your ID uh, or follow the link here below in the video and it will get you directly to the proper location. Thank you very much and have a great day.